All right, hello everyone. So let's take a look at what happened on Friday with respect to what I said would happen, right? So every day, as you know, we're doing this before and after. Now on Saturday, normally I do these videos, but on Saturdays was a special day for children. So I took Al out for all kinds of festive events. All right, so there's a children's day here in Turkey on the 23rd of April every day. And it's like a special day just for kids. So we were out having a ball. Now then, on Friday, let's see what happened. Now, because this is, let me do this, because this is the weekend video, I also want to show you what the swing day results were, right? So these are the swing hours. Let's do this. Let's open this uh, in a new window. And in fact, wait, let's do this. Let's open this in a new link. Open this. In a new tab, right, there you go. All right, so as you know, right, every Monday, I do the swing day analysis as well. So what day will the market turn out? This week, my Italian friend Alex sent a question. He said, listen, on the swing day, when do I know, right, when the market will turn? So if you have a swing day, right, for example, we're on gold here. Right? I said, for gold, Monday is the swing day, right? So when do I have to you know like what hour am I going to trade this? Well, easy. What you're going to do is this. You're looking at gold. This is Monday, right? So this is beginning of Monday. And this is the end of Monday, right here. So this during this period, what you've got to do is look for the swing hours. All right. So at what time what is the market likely to turn? Right. And as you can see here, we've got what? Let's see what hour did it turn? See, look at that. That's three o'clock. All right. And what have we got? We've got three until 3.36, 3.06, So the market goes up, comes to New York, and that's your three o'clock bar. As you can see, the market turns around. Okay. How do I know that I need to do this at three o'clock? Well, you match it to your technical analysis. This is why we've got technical, this is why we're using this, right? PST indicator and so on. So that's Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, right? And you gotta use your technical analysis. You gotta look at where the market can turn, right? Okay, so those are the price levels. The market went up into that price level on Monday. There you go. And then turns around. So the swing day is Monday. And then you've got to look at your swing hours for that day in order to, you know, make that happen. So as you can see, that worked out really well. Let's see what happened on the Friday, um, the astrological hours. As you can see, this is Friday. Um, and I said... These would be the hours the market would turn around. What have we got here? 142 to 237. Let's take a cross. That is one and two o'clock. So as you can see, the market from these lows here came up until when? 442, 437. See, that is 442. There you go, right, 4 p.m. bar there, and the market comes down until when? 6 o'clock. Look, that's your 6 o'clock bar. Really, we get nailing everything. All right, and the market's stabilizing here at 2,200 hours, right, 2,200, 2,300 there. So as you can see, the low, the high, the low, you see, it's all in there. Um, and when you're buying and selling, right, when you're trading like this, you also got to match it with your technical analysis, right? One without the other is no good. So if you want to trade astrologically, you got to pick out your levels and then you got to say to yourself, well, you know, when's this going to turn out? What price? So you got to look at your, you know, like PST levels, your weekly levels. You see, this is what I got marked in for the week. So I got 55.92 for this week, for last week that was. And that was 1927. So I've been talking about 1927, right, all week. And if you, you know, if you just follow the videos 
and the targets that we've got on the PSD, you see you coming down to 1927. It's just, you know, so selling it on a Monday all the way down to 1927, it makes sense because that's a swing day from the top. And your weekly's got a 1927 target, which has got you know, highly likely to reach. Then you know what I mean? So it just makes sense to follow it that way. So as you can see, the Friday hours for gold and the swing days uh, for gold, the swing day being Monday for gold worked out really well. Let's take a look at Euro dollar. Now for the Euro dollar, let's see where our Euro dollar is there, right? Let's tighten this up a little bit. Now with the Euro dollar, right, you can see I've said Thursday is going to be the swing day. All right. Now this is Friday and look at that as Thursday. All right. So the market comes all the way up. That's your Friday, 22nd, Thursday market comes up right into our sell zone, by the way. Right, straight in there because look, it was our PST level and look at that. It was the PST price straight in there. And at what time does it do that on Thursday? Uh, so uh, on Thursday, let's take a look at the, well, we're looking at, Friday. We, you can see this on Thursday's video. All right, you can see that. Let's see what happened on Friday with the Astro Hours. So the swing worked out well. If you want to see if this matched our astrological hours, watch the video I was on YouTube. And let's see what happened on Friday, right? Because this is a Friday video and the swing day video. So, so as you can see, that is 11 o'clock. I don't have anything at 11 o'clock. That's 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock. That's two o'clock. At two o'clock, we're in no man's land, right? So we're not at the weekly pivot or the white line. And we're not down here. So this you would not have traded. Right, it's just not you know not trading. This you could have traded technically if the market went up, but that was not an astrological hour. Then what have we got? We've got 442, 437. What's that? That look, that is four o'clock. That's your four o'clock bar there. Well, that's nice. So we do have an astrological hour. Look at that. This, ladies and gentlemen is your four o'clock bar. All right, if I turn this into a five minute chart, let's see when that happened because this is interesting for us, okay? So as you can see, worked out really well. 4.42, And let's buckle up and see what happened. And let's see when that top happened there look that's 406 right there 410 that's your whoops that's your 425 all right so pretty much you're catching the u-turn right there all right 30 yeah pretty much just catching the u-turn straight into there Okay, this is why understanding a technical level plus your astrology, you can nail it. That's good. And also the swing day for that worked as well. Let's take a look at US 30. Now, US the swing day for the indices, right? Thursday and or Friday are put. Let's oh look at that. Thursday, Friday. Wow, what a whopper. On Thursday, we get right to the top. And that's your Thursday swing day. If that's not accuracy, I know what the hell is. And look how beautifully that comes right into our zone. And it pushes all the way into Friday. Wow. That is magic. And I talked about this blue zone, remember? That is magic. It's just amazing. That was our top there. That was our bottom there does it on a Thursday, comes all the way down on a Friday. That is awesome. Now, what about your astrological hours? <clears throat> Look how the targets are all met right into the blue zone. Let's get rid of all of this. This is just amazing, isn't it? Seriously, if you're trading with astrology, you're just crazy. 
And that is just amazing how it all works. Now let's get rid of these and check out the hours. When did this thing turn around? On Friday. Now then, Friday, astrological hours. What's the top there? That's 11 o'clock. That's 12 o'clock. That's one o'clock and that's two o'clock. Okay. That's not too bad because you're around the white zone here. If you took that, it would have been okay, actually. You could have taken that because it's making a U turn here. Okay. That's an impulse wave, right? This is why you got to use technical analysis. What's this? It's an impulse wave. What do you want to do? Pull up. You want to push down, matching your astrological hours around here at 2 p.m., going downtown. That's lovely. And then what? That is four o'clock, guys. So as you can see, that two o'clock was right at the top there. Okay. And then coming down into the four o'clock, as you can see, the market goes under the weekly pivot. Nice sign for following through. All the way down to your 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Wow, didn't even stop a bit. That's your five o'clock. That's your six o'clock where we got a bit of a pause and then it's just down all the way. So once again, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Swing days, Thursday, Friday, all the way down. Very nice. Let's take a look at Bitcoin, guys. See how beautiful that works. I mean, like astrology, the way we do it at the Global Trader Club is just shocking. Seriously, Bitcoin Friday. Okay, so that was our swing day, anticipated swing day. So we didn't catch this one. That was a target. So it came down from our target. But on Friday, as you can see, that's Friday, right? Because this is Sunday. This is Saturday. Let me get rid of this blue line here. All right. So this is Friday, as you can see, right? So the market just pushes down and that's it. it makes the low of the week there. So you can see Saturday and Sunday, they're higher. But that's what Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, Monday, Monday was a lower. Okay, so not much of a swing day unless next week, unless the market doesn't make a lower and then it keeps going up. And then if it keeps going up next week as well, then you'll know this was like the swing day, all right? But from what we can see right now, NASDAQ, gold, euro, dollar, magic, okay? So on Friday, what happened with the astrological hours for Bitcoin? Well, that's 9, 10, 11, two, oops, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, right on the white line there. Why could you do that? Because... It comes down, it breaks below the white line, raises its head up to three o'clock, four o'clock. See, look, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. It's all here from one to four o'clock. It's all hanging around here. Two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, and then just plummeting down into your what? That's your six o'clock there, six o'clock bar there. All right. And that's your seven o'clock there. We didn't have a seven o'clock, but still that was a resistance and that's where the market came down to, okay? And if you've got your white lines and stuff like your levels where the market can come down to, then that's where you can get out. So if you sold there, worst case scenario, you would have like gotten out somewhere around here, all right, at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock or something like that. That's how it works. So as you can see, the swing days, if we know them, from Monday, right, before the markets open, you already know when you're going to turn around during the week. And then you've got the astrological hours. They tell you what time during the day you're going to turn around. And then you've got your technical analysis to nail it with a price. And then you've got a really good match there. So that is how it all panned out. Hope that helps. Uh, hope that actually enlightens you as well. See how we use astrology to determine swing days and the swing hours of the, uh, of the market for any asset you can use this for. And then you've got the pricing as well from our ATAM strategy, and then just works out. Hopefully soon we're gonna have live podcasts as well, either on Patreon uh, and Substack. 
so when we do uh, i'll put a notice up there then you'll be able to join us and you know like um, get live comments because we're going to do them every day and then we'll be trading live as well hopefully during those periods of this way to move into a new place so then you know hopefully it'll all pan out well in the interim i have a good sunday and have a good week next week